And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, we've gotten rid of a lot of the smoke recently from these big western fires, but uh, it's going to come back. Watch the clock here. So um, this is looking into tomorrow and watch the dense smoke from Canada and the western U.S. come our way. This is the plume right there. This is Friday night around 10 o'clock and the smoke begins to come in several thousand feet up. Then we begin to mix some smoke to the surface. Keep an eye on this right here. Here it comes coming in from the west and northwest and right there it is. This is right to Friday night and we're going to have smoke on Saturday. Some of it mixing down to the ground. So uh, it's another round where our skies kind of turn a little pale and hazy and anytime you have a thick layer of smoke like that, you know, the sun warms that layer and can kind of cap things a little bit and decrease rainfall coverage in an area. Now tomorrow, uh, a few little showers in the morning and then it's just kind of off again on again, scattered showers and a couple thunderstorms around. Um, I think this could last into mid afternoon and then it may decrease towards late afternoon and evening with a muggy 83 for the high and the wind picking up a little bit too. 80 to 85 for your high temperatures. A lot of cloudiness around, but the sun will poke through every now and then, especially later on in the day. It's an 85 to 90 though on Friday after storms on Thursday night. Friday is a very warm to hot, rather muggy day. Dew points will be up into the 70s, so it's going to feel uncomfortable. At least we'll have a pretty strong wind from the southwest. Other than an isolated little thunderstorm or shower in our northeast counties, it is a dry day, a lot of sun initially. And then uh, we bubble up a few cumulus clouds later on in the day, but with 80 to 85 for highs and that high humidity, our heat indices are 90 to 98. But Thursday night, prior to that, we've got a slight risk of severe weather, pretty much Monticello, Lafayette, Crawford Zone westward. Uh, it's marginal as you go eastward. Um, so this is a one to two out of five on the scale. And the main threat would be uh, perhaps a couple or a few severe gusts between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. Thursday night. Then Friday night, even though there'll be smoke coming in, that's going to try to at least kind of lead to a little bit of capping. And there'll be some warm, dry air from the plains capping things a little bit. We might be able to get a few storms out of this. Uh, and any storm that could develop would have an isolated severe weather risk. It's mainly after 10 p.m. to about 3 a.m. It's kind of the main cold front and upper trough swing through. Again, marginals one out of five on the scale. Now we looked at that Friday night frenzy forecast. I put this up here because I'll tell you that any little spotty storm that we do get would tend to be after the frenzy. So if you're headed to games, you're not necessarily going to have to deal with any spotty storms around. So there are a few showers becoming some scattered showers and a couple thunderstorms tomorrow, then a break towards late afternoon, evening, and then here come the storms tomorrow night coming in from the west and the southwest with that slight uh, marginal, the slight risk for severe for wind that pulls away. There's all your sunshine on Friday, just a few cumulus bubbling up. Maybe a isolated storm up here and then a few storms along the cold front and with the upper trough swinging in Friday night. And then for Saturday after sun early, clouds bubble up with the smoke and just maybe a spotty shower or two during the late afternoon with rainfall near a half an inch to some places getting an inch and a half to kind of that range from all this from Thursday right through Friday. 81 Saturday, 84 Sunday warms up and it gets humid again with 88 Wednesday and we're back in the 90s.